Hello, today we're going to be making a video of the alarm clocks and radios in my grandma's house. Let me get this cassette adapter out of my pocket. Anyway, here in my bedroom we have this um, Sears uh, stereo alarm clock radio with cassette player. Um, this thing's actually made by Elgin. Uh, it has vacuum force and display. It's display's actually pretty bright, but I've had a few issues with it, like the numbers not fully lighting up on one half of the display occasionally on time to time, but it's not a big deal. Um, I also have this old Spartus, which I still need to make a video of. This is a, I think I may actually have one like this already. This is a model Apollo. So I may actually have one of these already. Um, over here we have my radio. This is a Sharp. Dual cassette player, free, D, free CD, CD changer. Um, CD changer on it doesn't really work the best. Here in this bedroom is this older GE cassette clock radio. Um, this is actually the one that's in the profile picture for the YouTube channel. Let me see if we can turn. There's that one cassette player, and that one actually still works. I don't think there's a radio in there. Here's this one in here. This one's a Memorax. This one's unplugged because this one likes to turn on by itself randomly. Um, that one may actually get a destruction video in the near future. In this room, we have this early 2000s GE clock radio. Um, not sure if I'm going to actually go through. One or more hands off the wheel and mental attention. And then in here. The Sony Dream Machine. This one has a lot better quality, sound quality compared to the G. Here's the Sony in my grandma's bedroom. CD cassette player on it. I'm pretty sure both of those still work. I know CD works on it for sure. Here's a, I think, 1980s GE analog alarm clock in the living room. Because teams are focused on the draft. Here is a Bose Wave radio. It's in my grandma's kitchen. Cover your AC bill. Bringing the chill is back. Here in the basement, we have this Dura brand. Uh, uh, stereo system. Right next to it we have a Sony Cube. Here's a disassembled Memorax boom box because it has control board problems and issue if it's CD player button. Over here we have this monstrosity of an alarm clock. It's a Timex. It's just been hot glued to a piece of wood. Right over here we have this other Sony boom box. And then over here is this Yamaha sound system with Iowa and Cos speakers and the cassette player is uh, JVC. We have a sharp alarm clock over here. If I can cover the display so you can see it. I've had that one for a while actually. Here's my old GE clock, which cassette player on it stopped working, then the radio stopped working, and then it stopped keeping proper time, but I still keep it because this is one of the first clocks I've had. Here's my Sony. There's a speaker there, and a speaker there. Both Sony surround stereo speakers, both of which are original uh to this sony so there's all of the radios and, and clocks and clock radios in my grandmother's house before i and i will show you i have this ge radio down here and i think that's about it which is that's the vintage ge that's one of the first radios i've ever owned as well thank you very much for watching